Here we are. So uh, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, everybody here. Uh, we're at uh, the GSOC office hour for today, April 20th. Yeah, April 20th. So um, we are currently ending the uh, proposal grading uh, phase. And uh, Mukul, before we started the recording, had a question about uh, the next steps uh, in the process. So currently, um, all mentors uh, gave a grade from um, one to five uh, to uh, qualify the different uh, proposals. Five being, yes, we absolutely want uh, this proposal. And one being, well, okay, he didn't understand uh, the topic and um, needs more work to get his proposal. Uh, we very quickly see uh, uh, statistically, as all the mentors are doing that, uh, grading patterns, and we immediately see per project which are the top proposals, and there is a consensus. This week, we are entering the phase where the project teams, so the mentors, uh, project teams are uh, putting their heads together to verify that the statistics are in tune with uh, their guts feeling. And uh, so uh, see if there's nothing wrong and come up with the two best proposals per project. Uh, this is currently uh, being discussed. Next week, uh, we're going to consolidate all these uh, grades and classifications, so the choice per project, and consolidate that at um, org level. The result of that will be that for mid of next week, uh, the Jenkins GSOC organization will come up with the short list and saying, these are the proposals uh, that we would like uh, to uh, mentor through the CJOC. Uh, um, uh, GSOC, not CGOC, I'm tired. Uh, GSOC uh, season, meaning that we have a strong candidate, a strong proposal, and we have a good mentor team so that all the stars are aligned for a successful uh, GSOC. So on Tuesday, uh, uh, that's where the org admins and the lead mentors will uh, sit together, make that list. It will be posted and proposed to uh, the Google organization. And we'll say, um, we will be able to mentor four projects, for instance. And uh, Google will come back and say, yes, we have the budget uh, to support these four projects. Or if the times are difficult, they will say, uh, no, you can only do uh, three projects. And this will be the order. So as we're proposing number one, number two, number three, number four. If they say only three, it will only be the three first. So these are ideal. Everything is explained in the uh, Google documents. Um, that brings us to um, the, so Google has one week to uh, consolidate that at Google level, so at worldwide uh, level. 
and see if they have enough money to support all these projects. And then on uh, May 4th, if I remember well, on May 4th at uh, 6 p.m. UTC, this is where uh, Google will announce uh, who the winners are, so who are the selected projects. So this explains uh, the selection process. A little note, we had a huge amount of uh, proposals, some very good proposals, some lousy ones too, but these did not attend the uh, the, the office hours did not make the effort. You see that immediately. The people that did not uh, review uh, the drafts or so, uh, they don't they don't cut it. The people that prepared and really worked uh, on it, uh, you see them bubbling up uh, um, uh, very clearly. Uh, there will be some good proposals that we will not be able to uh, accept because we don't have the mentoring capacity. And this is something that I feel personally very painful. Uh, we don't have solid mentoring team. And, and this is, uh, as I explained, is something we're, uh, very important for us. Uh, there's no use to, to start a project and you're full of enthusiasm and, and there's nobody there or available uh, to help you go successfully uh, through it. So we prefer to be very uh, conservative. This doesn't mean that uh, you need to um, give up and sign up for the foreign legion, or I, I don't know what to forget, or say I, I'm going to change career path or, or whatever. I'm joking. Uh, but so the disappointment for some will be uh, clear, but this doesn't mean that the proposals that will not be selected were bad or that you as a, uh, uh, contributors were not worthy it, it's only we have to choose uh, between them and uh, i will come back to those interested and they were not uh, selected to discuss together uh, how we what we can learn from the experience and how we can move on continue to build experience not only for Google Summer of Code, but also open source as professionals. So I'm, I'm open to the discussion and, and uh, give advice uh, for that. And uh, uh, I, I don't want to leave these people uh, that will not be selected alone in the cold and say, well, okay, now get away. No, not at all. So we, we traveled this road, road together a lot of you already for several months. And um, I don't want to just say goodbye and move along. So no, no, we started the journey and we'll continue. Maybe with less time, but there will be interesting things. So to summarize uh, this selection process will end and will be announced uh, May 4th. The people that will not be selected uh, will arrange uh, uh, discussions and uh, uh, have several ideas of things we can do together uh, to continue the learning path. The people that will be selected um, we start at that moment uh, the uh, what's called the bonding period. So as you, you, we, we explained and you've seen in documentation, bonding period is where you prepare uh, the, um, the project plan. And 
there I will be following every, uh, I think that the mentor, lead mentors have enough experience for that, but I'll, we'll, as an org, we'll make sure that every project, every member of the team uh, will clearly know how to work, uh, what, uh, how is the project going to run? When will be the meetings? Uh, how is it going to start? So, uh, and there will be quite some work uh, there. So this will be the real start of the mentoring uh, for the project. This will last for, uh, I don't have my papers here around me. Uh, so it will be for, for four weeks, I, I think, something like that. Uh, and um, every project will decide what are the deliverables of that period. I know what I would like to see as uh, org admin. Uh, and then starts the actual coding. That's where the, the actual adventure uh, starts. So there has been a long explanation, Mukul. So to a short summary, we're still busy grading and ranking all the proposals. We have a heap of them and not enough mentors. The final results will be announced uh, May 4th. Uh, reminder, we're going to have a special uh, GSOC office hour not at the usual Thursday, we moved it to the Friday so uh, that we can discuss. So first, uh, congratulate uh, the people that have been selected and chat with the people that were not selected and we can exchange uh, feelings and we can get organized uh, for the, the two groups, how we'll move forward. And uh, so there will be a track for the people that go on with GSOC and there will be a track lighter, but there will be a track for the people that want to continue to learn. Bonding period for the people selected will last about four weeks, preparation and then actual work. Mukul, did that, that answer your question? I guess yes, because I, I gave too many details, I fear. Yes, yes. Go ahead. Yes, yes, it answered it. And uh, I want to ask, like, uh, how are you rating uh, each proposal? Like, uh, each organization admin is like uh, evaluating all the proposals, or uh, a single person is evaluating uh, like a few group of proposals. And uh, is it like how is it? So, so the the aim is that mentors grade all proposals. Now, seeing the amount of proposals, I don't know if from Google's we can disclose uh, the number, uh, but it, it is a, a big number. It's, it's over the 60 and it takes time. So we decided that the mentors need at least to mentor, uh, not to mentor, to, to grade the proposal or their group so where they're volunteered to mentor. Uh, and um, we want to have at least three valid grades per proposal. So that means that statistically we have something representative and this works. Now, uh, a lot of proposals, we, we have uh, four or even five, I need to check the spreadsheet, four to five uh, uh, evaluation. So we, we did that with a very, uh, how, how you say that, uh, with a lot of heart because we know the hard work that's behind that. It's not an easy decision to make and we take that uh, at heart so you can be, uh, you can trust that uh, we do it seriously. Okay. Are there other questions, uh, topics to discuss or, or uh, I don't know, worries? Um, 
I have one question. Uh, what do you personally think of the new AI tools which are coming up, like Chat GPT and Auto GPT? And there is more. There is also autonomous agents. Like it's like a new trend right now. What do you personally think of all these AI tools? I'm not sure I I understood your question correctly. Can you re rephrase it, please? So what is the, the question? Did we take in, into account? I, um, I asked like, what do you personally think of all the AI tools which are right now uh, coming up like uh, chat GPT and there is also auto GPT, which is kind of new. And there is, I, I recently read a article which uh, talks about autonomous agents, which can literally um automate all the tasks which is being done in the industry or in any company and less people can just work on focus on like more creative work rather than doing the manual work which is being done by people daily so it's kind of a trend right now okay. what do you personally think of that i'll well that's a good question it will be hard to keep uh um in in a short a short uh, timing, and I I will leave other people answer. I'm old, and I'm I'm I will say honestly I'm scared of these technologies because they get so powerful that at a certain moment the human part in it. Uh, we'll, we will lose control on them. But here, as I said, it's because I'm old, I've already seen so many things and also some values like the human being is very important to me. So I think it will become something interesting, important and useful but it will also cause a lot of harm. And so my personal feeling is we need to go slowly and think about these technologies and, and not unleash them uh, uh, uncontrolled. This is my personal feeling. And, and so don't, don't stop at, at that. So, uh, uh, we we need to to be uh, careful, but we're we're going into uh, a, a, a subject there where where okay. But it's it's a good question, and you are the generation where you need to think about that. And, and I always say we as developer have a responsibility in what the world will become. Here I, I'll stop. If somebody wants to add. Something on the subject, he's welcome. Um, I've been uh, reading this book by Max Tedmark. It's uh, Life 3.0. He talks about the AGI in general, like how it will overcome in future and it's rapidly increasing. And there is like a lot of AI which is being um, made. So he actually talks about the four scenarios which can uh exist uh the ai being existing with the humans at the same time all the all these um tools yeah. and everything so they're like uh, you can have maybe the government rules or maybe some restrictions of doing all these and also the agi <laughs> agi is taking over the humans like humans are being treated like a zoo yeah. that's what his <laughs> opinion was but i found it literally like yeah. pretty funny Good. Like we are being in the blue. Yeah, Sonali, I, I will say directly my fears is that these technologies are very powerful and it just needs a couple of people that are not honest, evil, or plain stupid. And the power, the influence, 
that it can have would be so big and would have such an impact that I I say, well, it is not the form to say that. This is one of the reasons why, for instance, nuclear uh, nuclear power is something where we need to think very wisely how we do it, uh, because the we're the powers energy harnessed by that is tremendous. But sometimes you have a corporation that has short-sighted objectives that will steer that. And their decision might not be the one for the greatest benefit of humanity. And here we're playing with things that can have an influence on uh, for the whole humanity. So here, we're, this is something we should discuss around a couple of beers or, or teas or whatever. Um, and But it's a great question, a great topic uh, uh, to uh, to discuss. And uh, thank you for asking that. But here, I gave my shot. So if somebody else wants to uh, to add, we have five more minutes together because I need to jump on another call. I don't have anything new to add, but I just want to say I I completely agree with Jean Marc. I think we we'll, um, there's we all have responsibilities, and we've all we're all given the tool. Um, use it wisely. Use it for the good of of, of humanity. And a hundred and ten percent agree with Jean Marc. Actually, so at least I didn't say, but it's comes from my heart. Somebody else has a question or a comment or wants to share something, he's welcome. Uh, I also think like uh, what Jimmy said is right. And uh, recently, uh, few uh, like leaders has uh, like made a decision to stop training these large language models like uh, what chat is, GPT is or GPT-4 is. So in future, like uh, we are currently stopping uh, training of GPT-5. And uh, so, but behind the scenes, there may be a case like few people are trying to achieve a GPT-5 or uh, trying to make a new variant of uh, GPT-5 and which could be dangerous in my opinion, like, they can possibly uh, like lead destruction of humanity. So this should be controlled by uh, like government or some uh, other organization, like how they should approach it. This power is like huge. So at, at least, yeah, I, I agree with you, Mikul. At least, and this is where we have um, a responsibility and this is the call I do for the younger generation and also to open source is that we learn that we think about that, that we we try building thing in in a responsible way. And uh, uh, we're we're not here only to execute the orders that we're giving by uh, by a boss or in a corporation. No, we have, as we're interested in open source and technology at large, otherwise you wouldn't be here. Uh, uh, we, we have this mission to understand, improve ourselves, think, uh, uh, and, and make all these things uh, evolve. I think op uh, this artificial intelligence will bring... Uh, um, something like robots in, in, in things like that. But we need to do it in a normal pace and not for, well, not for, not for money, but here. I love open source. I'm biased. So here, I'm, I'm getting into discussions where, where a lot of nuance uh, is, is required. Very good topic here. So uh, I'm uh i'm so i'm getting ready now so we're making good progress and i thank you all to stay uh tuned to stay in a community 
uh, here uh, uh, together, exchanging these ideas. I know that GSOC uh, is a very good channel to learn and improve. It's not the only one. And uh, we, we can, we'll have that discussion uh, later. Be prepared that some of you will be disappointed. Just remember that not you as a person, not at all. Because if you're here, that means you're good people. So, but it's it's somewhere a competition. But uh, we uh, competition in a sense we have limited resources uh, for that. So there will be uh, one waiting office hour. We can bring other interesting uh, topics like Sonali brought. Uh, so this will be. Uh, and then in two weeks, uh, we'll know who are the people that uh, will be part of GSOC uh, 2023 uh, with uh, Jenkins. And we'll continue. In the meantime, I wish you all uh, a nice week, nice learning, and uh, enjoy. Okay? Thank you closing the call here. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.